everyone to my channel. I'm Davy, and today I am sharing with you an Aldi's grocery haul. These are more of the staples in my house that my husband and I eat on a weekly basis. Um, some things are more just staples that I'll need throughout the rest of the month. Um, I did buy a few things from my local grocery store that I'll mention later. But yeah, I thought I would do a grocery haul for you with what we eat throughout the week and things that we need on hand. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. But I'm gonna jump right in with my haul. All right, so I'm just gonna start over here and work my way around. So yes, this is not a grocery item, but I could not pass off these plants. They look so cute. This is a foliage plant, a mini arboricola. I guess I just love the pot and it was $2.99 so I'm a plant sucker <laughs> so I thought it would be really cute and go with some of my copper decor. Um, I use black beans and brownies and Mexican dishes and we just like black beans and it's cheaper to buy it in bulk in a bag like this and to um, hydrate them back yourself. I thought I would try the pure aqua drinks. I normally get LaCroix or Bubbly, but I thought I'd try these because it was more affordable than LaCroix. Sorry, can't talk. And this flavor is strawberry pineapple, and my husband and I like these. Alright, eggs, of course, are a staple. They were 79 cents at my Aldi. I get lots of times um, farm fresh eggs, but for 79 cents, I couldn't pass up two dozen eggs. We eat eggs for breakfast. I hard boil them and take them for lunch, especially being pregnant. I want to make sure to get plenty of protein. All right, then a pineapple, I couldn't pass up. I want to say it's $1.19 for a pineapple. Like, that is so cheap. I'm not used to those prices at my local grocery store. All right, moving over, I needed some more flaxseed. I use these in some protein bars I made. I did just buy a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies for any Mexican dishes. My husband eats jelly every morning on his toast and I thought I'd try the apricot preserves. I kind of vary every time I buy a new jar. I think this was $1.99. Um, just bought one of these for myself for the drive home but I didn't end up opening it. I needed some more balsamic vinegar. My husband likes vanilla puddings and these were 85 cents I think. Um, these aren't always staples, so they're just kind of a fun treat I like to get him because he likes these. I use unsweetened applesauce in a lot of my baking dishes instead of oils. I'll do this. Um, my husband likes to eat applesauce too. I prefer just the plain apple, but I think this was like $2.99. I'm not 100% sure, but I couldn't pass up that for this giant container of it that I will use throughout the next couple weeks. All right, to the cereal. I have been craving, well, wanting cereal more now that I'm pregnant, and I'd like to not get the such sugary cereals and the more plain, I guess, so I got myself some bran flakes, and I got my hubby some shredded wheat, so that will last us a couple weeks, probably, depending on how craving-like I am with cereal. A couple avocados. Um, I use spinach every day in my eggs when I have eggs in the morning or take it with a salad for lunch or something. Cucumber, gotta have that, eat that every day. And I tried this artesian lettuce, the four heads. I really liked it last time I bought it. It was, I think, $2.99, um, especially with the romaine scares going on with the E. coli. I thought I might as well go with this and see how I like it, and I do, I really like it, and I like the variety of color. All right. A couple chips. We have tortilla chips very regularly if we have Mexican especially and on Sunday nights our meal is smoothies and popcorn and tortilla chips with salsa. So we always make sure to have those. I wanted to try these original veggie chips. They are really good. They taste amazing and you can have like 38 chips for 130 calories. Yes, you do sunflower oil and potato starch but that's okay. I like crunchy chips, salty things every once in a while, and this was a good snack. And yes, I did open it on my dry phone. <laughs> Alright, moving over here. I tried a couple loaves of bread. 
Bread at Aldi is so affordable for um, the amount you get. So I just got the 100% whole wheat and I like to make sure it does not stay enriched whole wheat flour on the back and neither of these two do. So this might be more for like a French toast night um, and this is more of the sturdy stuff that I will serve my husband for toast or sandwiches and stuff like that. All right, just a couple more items. Couple of Greek yogurts. I make my own Greek yogurt. Um, so I like to buy my husband these because he prefers this over my a little bit more runny style Greek yogurt. And then I needed some more coffee. I've never had Aldi coffee, so let me know what you think. I do drink coffee being pregnant still, so um, there's nothing wrong with that. My midwife said you can have 16 ounces a day of caffeine, but I do like the dark roast. It smells great, so let me know if you like Aldi coffee. This is the Burismo um, Columbia brand. So there's that. And last thing, I just needed some more gallon baggies, and while I was there, I thought I'd get it. Um, a couple of the other staples we always have in our house are apples. They were on sale at my store for 99 cents a pound. Carrots, I get the whole carrots, and they were $1.29 for two pounds, and celery, I always have celery on hand, just for snacks and things to take to school. Oh, and milk. We don't go through milk very often. I already had almond milk on hand, because that's what I drink and my husband's um, other milk I got from Aldi on like five days ago already. So yeah, those are like the staples we have in our house that we use pretty much on a weekly basis. Of course it varies, meats and things like that I already had in the freezer. Oh, I did buy three pounds of chicken for four fifty dollars um, at my local grocery store. I do like to support locally too, but Aldi is very nice with prices and I do like product and quality of the items to get there. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you to see what we eat. Maybe it will give you ideas to have on hand with some of your staples. Um, we don't like to eat too much processed food, as you can tell, other than cereal, but, and oh, puddings for my husband. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.